Marco uh, and, and Ben never worked together before this, and, uh, and it was kind of this odd couple or reunion that I decided on. Uh, and I asked them both if they would be so kind as to consider working with each other because I knew there was such a short period of time, such a mountain of work, that no matter what, uh, they would sort of, somebody, if somebody was feeling down, the other person would jump up and, and that one was stronger in piano, and one was stronger in guitar. And, and I, I remember just like setting you stuff initially and you know, trying to get a, a sense of, you know, we always try to get a sense of what the movie's about and maybe customize your reel or set of cues that might be, you know, a, appropriate for that. And, you know, first of all, the, the, the cut that you said had all these songs in it, so we tried to send some electronic -y kind of stuff, electronic -y kind of stuff, and it came back and goes, well, I need to hear more acoustic, and then so we sent acoustic stuff. And so it was really just, it was more like, it, it was more like the vibe that each of those songs really had. You know, that's what she wanted to hear. Did you know them both before you started working? Never knew either one. No. So how did you come to them? Well, I, it's interesting enough, and, and, and maybe this comes this comes full circle. I was at the, the last Sundance Posse party in L.A., and I was um, I went up to say hello to a director that I worked with, a guy, a great director named Doug Prey, and he was talking to Andy, and so Andy, uh, Doug introduced me to Andy. And I just found out actually two nights ago at one of these parties when. Uh, really inebriated woman came up to me <laughs> and, uh, and she introduced herself and said she had worked with a friend of mine, Richard Robbins, on Operation Homecoming, which I had scored and she had apparently referred me to. You still, I told you that. I told you about Kristen.